Museum of Cosmonautics Rockets and how they fly tour Hello, my friends. My name is Alexander, and we are at the Moscow Museum of Cosmonautics. Here I will tell you how our rockets get into space. And I'll tell you that by the example of the Vostok launch vehicle. It was on these rockets that our first six cosmonauts flew into space. In our museum, there is a model of such a rocket. Here you can see it in section, and at the top of the rocket there is a spacecraft with our cosmonauts, and under the spacecraft there are fuel tanks. The blue tank is liquid oxygen, and the yellow tank is kerosene, and even lower you see the engines. Engines, fuel tanks, are properly called stages. There are three of them. Here is the first stage. Cosmonauts call the stages carrots, and there are four of them in total. The second stage is the highest and the third stage, the smallest. It is right under the spacecraft. When we launch our rocket's engine, we launch the first two stages at once. What does it mean? They are starting to consume fuel. The rocket goes up into space. The fuel in the carrots runs out faster, so the special explosive charges go off. The carrots separate and fall to the ground. This territory of Kazakhstan is approximately 400 kilometers from the launch site. But there is still fuel in the second stage, so it continues to work and takes our spacecraft beyond the atmosphere. When you pass through the atmosphere, the ship and the rocket are also held by the fairing. But as soon as you are out of the atmosphere, the fairing opens up and then separates. The third stage will speed our spacecraft around the Earth. This is the first cosmic velocity of 7.9 km per second. After which it also separates, so it only takes us 9 minutes to get to space. In minutes, nothing remains of the large launch vehicle, only the spacecraft remains, which will take the cosmonauts to the International Space Station. At best we fly 6 hours, but earlier it took us 48 hours. And I will tell you how cosmonauts fly to the orbital station by the example of the Soyuz spacecraft, which by the way has been flying in space since 1967 to this day. It is not only our cosmonauts who fly into space on Soyuz. Cosmonauts from all over the world come to the conclusion that our Soyuz is the most reliable and they fly on our spacecraft. Of course, I will not deceive you, there is another country in the world besides the Russian Federation that has its own ship, and this is China. And everyone else flies only on our Soyuz, and there is one in our museum, and it is real. Let's have a look at it. And here in front of us is the spacecraft Soyuz. The spacecraft is made up of three parts. The uppermost part is called the crew or orbital module. Below is the descent module. Even lower is the service module. Module. During takeoff, our cosmonauts are in this very part of the spacecraft. Three cosmonauts are in their special seats. And during takeoff, as you remember, the spacecraft is at the top of the rocket. The rocket carries the spacecraft into space in nine minutes. And then the cosmonauts at best fly six hours to the orbital station. Three cosmonauts will not be comfortable here for six hours to the orbital station. There is very little room. So, as an extra space, or you could say extra room, there is a crew module. They open the hatch, go into the crew module, and wait for the dock with the International Space Station. Our cosmonauts live at the space station today for about six months without returning to Earth. Well, dear friends, the six-hour flight is already behind us. So right now, I invite you to the orbital station. You can see how the cosmonauts live and work here. Please come in, but don't get excited, because in space, don't walk on the floor. There is no such thing as a floor or ceiling in space. That's why, right here, strangely for us on Earth, there is a working surface. Cosmonauts don't sleep in space, like you and me, in bed, sofa or mattress. Our cosmonauts sleep in special sleeping bags. Look, here is the cosmonauts' cabin, and it is in the cabin that the sleeping bag is. But the cosmonauts, remember, they sleep standing up when they fly. They just crawl into the bag, and the bag is pre-attached to the surface. They close a zipper, always put a special mesh on the face, and fall asleep quietly. Also here you can see the waste collection system for our cosmonauts. This is a special separate room at the orbital station. Also, here you can see the cosmonauts' working surface, or rather, the working area. From here, the entire station was controlled and docked to the spacecraft. Behind the working surface, you can see the same docking module where the spacecraft docked. And here in front of you is our cosmonaut's dining area. This is a space table with food and a special table. See how I am in this chair. Not back to back, as we are used to do it on Earth. 
but back to front. And look, my legs are fixed due to the back, and the cosmonauts in zero gravity do not take off due to this. And of course, the space table. Here you see space food. Well, look, cosmonauts don't have tubes now. Cosmonauts use plastic bags that contain food sublimated on Earth. This is the conditions that cosmonauts live and work in for about six months without their relatives and without returning to Earth. And I do not say goodbye to you all. I want to say to all of you, see you next time. Thank you for your attention. I wish all of you cosmic health and astronomical success. And most importantly, that your dearest wishes are always fulfilled. All the best to you all. See you next time.